Hi, and welcome to the Mount Lebanon Minute. I'm Laura Lilly from Mount Lebanon Magazine and Mount Lebanon Public Information Office. And I'm here today with Municipal Planner Keith McGill. Hi, Keith. Hi, Laura. And today we are going to talk about community development in Mount Lebanon. First, tell us what you have to do to become a municipal planner. Uh, well, probably the traditional way would be to go to college and receive a degree in urban planning. However, a lot of municipal planners uh, also initially start by working in another capacity for the local government and then are able to sit and take a certification test through the American Institute of Certified Planners, which is a national organization uh, to receive their certification in municipal planning. Great. And then once you're a planner, what do you do? Uh, it's really a pretty wide variety of functions. Uh, obviously, you work with developers for both commercial and residential development. Uh, in terms of new subdivisions or new commercial development. Uh, but you also work with individual residents uh, where a resident may have a large lot that they wish to subdivide in order to be able to get another buildable lot, or they may have two lots that they want to consolidate in order to be able to put an addition onto their existing residential structure. Uh, in addition to that, I also work with our zoning ordinance, which outlines the uses that can be uh, utilized for a particular property. It also contains regulations related to fencing, parking, setback, height of structures, all of those types of things. And I also work with our subdivision and land development ordinance, which is the ordinance that developers use when they initially come in to create a new development or subdivision. This helps to ensure sort of a uh, proper development in the municipality, prevents overcrowding and issues of those types. Um, and last but not least, but also equally important, I also administer our comprehensive plan. A comprehensive plan is sort of a 10-year land development plan for a municipality. Mm -hmm. Our most recent comprehensive plan was adopted in December of 2000. So really, we should be doing another one this year in 2010. However, we've chosen to wait until 2012, so we'll be working with the most current census data that would be available. Yeah, that's a good point to offset the years. Well, let's talk a little bit about development. Uh, how much control does the municipality have? I mean, let's say we wanted to put a Whole Foods on Mount Lebanon Boulevard. Can't we just go buy the property and, and, and put it in there? Or let's say we wanted something to be green space. Why can't we just mandate that it be green space? Um, well, there's a couple different answers to your questions. Uh, first and foremost, if the municipality desires a particular type of development, Mount Lebanon now does have an industrial development authority through which we could purchase property and then put out a request for proposals for a specific type of development. Uh, prior to having an industrial development authority, really the parking authority was the uh, body that actually acquired properties and then some of those properties, as we'll talk about a little bit later, have been put onto the market for development. Uh, but the municipality can only control those properties the use of the properties that it actually owns. Uh, and in terms of if we want something to be green space, again, we need to actually own that in order to mandate that it remain green we space. We can't just walk in there and tell a developer what to do. Correct. We cannot control uh, development on properties that we do not own. Right. OK. Well, why don't we talk a little bit about some of the pending development that's out there. Um, tell us about the hotel project. We were all excited about that, and we haven't seen anything. Tell us where we are. Uh, I recently had a conversation with uh, a couple members from Kratza Properties, who is the developer for the hotel project. Uh, it will be a 108-room Spring Hill suite, seven stories tall, located on Washington Road uh, on the surface lot that's currently between the building where Howard Hanna is located mm -hmm. and the executive building. Um, Kratza Properties uh, has done a number of these types of developments, most recently on Southside Works and North Shore. They have a good history and track record for these types of developments. Uh, the project will add approximately 15 to 18 million dollars of assessed value to our commercial business district. And in addition to that, it will provide another pedestrian connection from Washington Road to Parse Way. And it will also allow us to add some additional pedestrian traffic into our downtown commercial districts. Great. And what's the schedule for that? Uh, they are in the final stages of finalizing their financing for the project and hope to break ground late summer of this year. Great. What about St. Clair Hospital? There's a lot of action going on over there. What are they doing? Uh, St. Clair Hospital always seems to be doing something, which is really a good thing. I think it's really a valuable asset for us to have a hospital within our community. Um, most recently, they've completed a 
expansion to their emergency room facilities that actually doubled the size of the treatment rooms that are available there. So now as a resident or a patient coming into the hospital, you have a less of a wait in the waiting area before you actually get into a treatment room. Uh, the current project that you've seen up on Bower Hill Road is for an additional three operating rooms to respond some for, to some additional demand they've had recently for that type of space. Okay, great. And what about the so-called Cosman property? That's the property at the corner of Mount Lebanon Boulevard and Castle Shannon Boulevard. There's some activity there. What's happening? That's correct. The developer currently has an approved project for two office buildings, uh, about 82,000 square feet of leasable area when it's completed. They've begun bringing in fill uh, related to that development. They've also recently contacted the municipality, expressing an interest in potentially changing that project to accommodate a health club use on that site. Okay. And what about the condos on Washington Road at the corner of Bower Hill? Uh, that was the Washington Park project. Mm -hmm. was actually slated for 72 units at one point in time. Uh, again, a phase project, 48 in the first and uh, 24 in the second phase. The developers recently contacted us and told us that they don't feel that that market is currently there, so they're examining alternate uses for that site, and we hope to hear from them shortly. Great. Why don't we shift gears a little bit and talk about some of the things that are completed uh, and recently added uh, to our town. Um, we have the... Um, the uh, property on uh, Washington Road where the bookstore is? That's correct. We have uh, where the Family Christian mm -hmm. uh, Center is. Uh, that's an 8,000 square foot single story retail. Also has Al Lorenzi doors and windows as part of that development. Formerly the site of the ground round and for residents that may have been here for a while prior to that it was in Howard Johnson's. Uh, a nice redevelopment of that site um, actually I think from an architectural standpoint, the building fits well on the site, and it gave us sort of a new source for uh, some additional retail opportunities. And not too far away is a daycare center. Right up the street from that, as you would turn into North Highland, uh, where there was an existing single family home, we now have a new kinder care facility, uh, which is daycare, and is doing quite well. My understanding is that they've actually reached their capacity for the center, so. Great. Well, thanks for giving us that update, Keith, and for stopping by today. If you have questions about development or other projects in Mount Lebanon, feel free to give Keith a call at 412-343-3684. Thank you.